guys, what's up all? Welcome back to our channel. This is Akon Tran from Web News Team and I am back with another video on add-ons for my name's calendar. Today is the seventh week and this add-on is the seventh add-on for our 7 and 7 campaign. So the name of this add-on is Liquid View Layouts. It offers 20 plus new skins for all your shortcodes codes that can magically transform the design of your calendar. So stay with me, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Well, in this video, we are going to show you how to install and activate the add-on uh, on your WordPress. And as you know, the Liquid View layer will add several new skins to your default short codes of Adam's calendar. So to install the add-on, first go to the plugins menu, click on add new, and choose the file that you've downloaded from the web news dashboard and start installation and activation. That easy. Now, as you can see, it has been added to the menu of your plugins. All right, now to start, first we will have to create a short code like always we do on my name's calendar. And we're going to name it Liquid View Layout. So to use this short code, I'll begin with the list view. And as you can see uh, in the style menu, you can see several new actually styles have been added here on this drop down menu with the name liquid so you can use any one of them here i'll choose liquid large to begin with all right just publish it and then just copy the short code and paste it on your new page or the page you want to show your calendar with this view all right the name of my page is liquid layouts i'm just going to paste the short code here and publish the page and let's see, how does it look? All right, now we can see the new looks on the calendar page. And as you can see, it's a very intuitive and modern looking view. Now I'm just gonna go back to the settings and show you uh, how does all of its features work. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. So I'm going to enable the search form, maybe showing labels and maybe enable the reset button and I'll enable some, some other filters here and see what happens. Now, as you can see, the filter search bar has been added here. I can search for any events I want or I can filter my events on my calendar page. Just like that. It's awesome. Let's see some other styles of these liquid view layouts. I'm going to choose liquid medium to see how does it look. All right, as you can see, it's awesome. Now I'm going to choose liquid small, liquid minimal, and see how do these styles look like on my calendar page. Well, on other skins like the view, we do have some new liquid layouts. I'm going to choose the grid view and see how do those actually styles look like on my calendar page. All right, I'm going to display three events on each row so I can have a better designed calendar page. And then just publish the page, go to the page and just uh, refresh the page or reload the page to see how it looks. Very well, that's it. Now, let's see how this liquid medium look like on the grid view. So as you can see, everything is a little bit smaller. So you can show more um, events on each row, for example, maybe four. And now let's see uh, liquid view small and minimal. So as you can see, everything is also a bit smaller. So in this style, you could actually display more events on each row. I'm going to change the number of display events to number five and see, or maybe six and see how it looks. So as you can see, less details and smaller probably 
phone sizes and phone rays in more events you can display on your calendar page using this style, Liquid Minimal. So now let's have a look at full calendar skin. We do have a liquid view layered for it and its styles. And as you know, full calendar is a set of uh, several trope codes come into one trope code. All right, I'm going to enable some of the features here. For example, as you can see, the weekly view and daily view are already enabled, which is great for what I want to show you here. Just you know, the loose view and grid view are already enabled in my full calendar scheme layout. Now let's publish the page and see how it looks. Well, as you can see, uh, here's the list view uh, on my calendar. There's also the weekly view and also the daily view that I enabled. So you can see on this day, there is no events, but if I click on a day that there are several events or probably an event, you can see that this uh, there is a list of the events on the right sidebar here displayed for my um, users. And you can see on the left side, the start time and the end time of the events or probably the event on the right side now let's try the daily view scan with the liquid style let's see how it looks i'm just going to publish the page and go to the page and see how it looks now as we send the full calendar view the daily view is just like this they can see here the events on the right side and the time of the events on the left side. For example, here my event starts at 10 a.m. and it ends on 14 uh, in the afternoon. So it's awesome. Great design, right? All right, there's also a uh, liquid, uh, I could say, style for the weekly skin. I'm going to just choose the weekly skin and see how it looks with a liquid um, style. Just publish the page and reload the page and see how it looks here. Well, the next skin that we are going to choose and see how it looks is Map View. We will choose the liquid skin for it. Just publish a page and go to the page and see how it looks. So, as you can see, the map is actually listed on the left side and the events are listed on the right side. All right, now here I'm going to check the cover view and the liquid skin for it, liquid style for it. And also then let's check out the available spot skin and the liquid layout for it. As you can see, just publish the page, reload the page. And here it is, the cover view. Now let's change it to available spot and see how does that look. So here we are, this is the available spot um, liquid uh, style, as you can see on my calendar page. The next view, which I actually like a lot, is the carousel view. And it has a new liquid skin for it. I will choose it and I will also increase the number of events displayed on my carousel to see how it looks. Okay, publish and reload the page. Let's see how it looks here. Um, I think the most interesting thing about this view is that it can also show your, the description of your events, a little bit of it, on your calendar page, which is uh, probably, um, I think, very interesting for your users as well. They can understand a little bit about the events that are going on. All right, the last but not least is this slide view. Let's try it out and see how does the liquid skin or liquid uh, style for it look looks like well all of these were the views or i could say styles of the liquid for the skins or all the short codes uh, or default short codes of one's calendar that you saw here um, i hope you enjoyed it but i need to let you know that there are also several designs for the single event page as well so i'm going to show you one of them here uh, sorry i said several no sorry just one new style for your single event page um, you can find it in settings when you go to single event page settings and there is a new option here uh, in the drop down of the single event uh, page styles called liquid. You can choose it and see how it looks.
All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for choosing Nano's calendar and thank you very much for staying with me up until the end of the video. As always, we would love to see your suggestions down below in the comment section, so please do remember to write them down. And also, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you liked it, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you for staying with me. See you in the next video. Thank you.